Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another Mailbag Monday for you. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Really glad you could join me today. Today I have another Mailbag Monday. Some goodies arrived from overseas. Uh, I don't know what's in them yet. I've placed a few orders over the last several weeks and I haven't been in a big rush for any of them. So uh, I thought I'd take a look and let's see what we get. I'll start off with this one. Looks like two of them came from the same place, which is kind of interesting. But let's have a look and see what we get. We have, geez, I have no idea, from Tada Electronics. Ah, woo. Well, this is significantly more than what I ordered of. What the heck? <laughs> well, uh, I actually did not order these uh, in this. What the? So we've got uh, IC sockets, all kinds of them. I I didn't order those. I ordered these without a doubt for the AT Tiny um, Arduino uh, programmable chips. So the AT Tiny 85s. So I'm not sure whether they gave me a bonus or something got messed up in the works. Gonna have to check out those. Uh, details of that order. Regardless, I have enough uh, IC sockets to last, well, till doomsday. Uh, I'll never use those ones. These ones I'm interested in, though. Let's check out the, uh, the other package from the same supplier. See, see whether that explains the story a little bit better. That's what I ordered right there. Those are the AT Tiny 85s. So that and that is pretty much all I need right there. So what I now have is six more Arduino programmable chips. Um, for those of you who haven't seen these, um, this is an Atmel chip that you can use as an Arduino and uh, it has actually pretty significant uh, uh, power for the size of the chip, what you can use it for. So uh, if you're interested in doing a really tiny um, Arduino project, check these out. Uh, there's a good video on how to shrinkify your Arduino projects and then you'll, uh, you'll find tons more. I've got, a lot, I've, I've got a couple of good plans for these. Uh, I won't say a lot, but... Uh, two two instances I need them, and uh, well, that's what I need. I don't know where the heck all that came from. But anyway, let's see what else we got. These plastic bags are always a bear to get into. I think I know what this should be. Oh, well, anyway, ah, ha, ha, perfect. Breadboards. Can never have too many breadboards. You, it's just simply not possible. It, for the price of these things, for a couple of bucks, have them kicking around. Um, these are the smaller version, not the big monsters, but uh, let's see if I can find it here. Here's one of my projects I showed in a previous video that I haven't got around moving it to a perf board yet. Uh, I didn't have perf boards till the, the last mailbag Monday. And it's hogging up one of my proto boards. So here we go. Lots of bread boards. I have no excuse now. I sh well, got lots now. Better start building something. Uh, this one also came China Post. No idea what this should be. Ah. Well, that's interesting. Those finally showed up. Those were in order from uh, a supplier that uh, I took a chance on. I'll have to go back into the order details. Those are float switches. Uh, I wanted to build some uh, automation for my fish tanks. I have uh, what's called a reef keeper light looking after both of my saltwater fish tanks. 
and uh, it has limited uh, I.O. capability unless you buy their proprietary stuff and I can link it to an Arduino pretty easy and uh, I need some float switches to do uh, auto top off for the water and a few other things so there we go uh, those as well were an eBay find pretty cheap uh, I was relatively impressed with the pricing of them and uh, I'll check the details and why either I reordered or those just took a heck of a long time to get here but uh, oh well no big deal all is well so uh, that is our mailbag Monday that's all the goodies on the bench I better start building something because in order for me to put the AT Tiny chips away in my Arduino kit I have a bit of a problem here this is the Arduino section so last mailbag, mailbag Monday I got six more Arduinos I now have way too many I have enough Arduinos should be able to keep me in business all year long I really need to get building some stuff because I can't I might be able to just put the AT Tiny 85s in there if I squish but uh, pretty happy with uh, with my kit the way it is pretty much uh, not too many things I, uh, I would need and uh, whatever I decide to whip up at any given time I've got the materials on hand. It just takes a little bit of forethought and finding the, the correct pricing, the best price you can find via... Uh, I'm obviously a huge proponent of eBay and uh, order them up and get them coming and as it filters in, build your kit up. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Good luck in all your electronics projects and uh, keep building, keep making. Uh, love seeing your stuff on YouTube. Please share. Thanks for watching.